God bless you today. I hope you're having uh, a good week and uh, that you started out on the right foot. You've been relaxed over the fourth, uh, got recreated, being out of doors, being with those you love. Probably, maybe you went fishing. But for, for this week, because we're in the season of Pentecost, um, actually the first Sunday of Pentecost was the 31st of May, so we've been now uh, a month and a little bit into the Pentecost season. And Pentecost, of course, is, a, is the celebration of the third article of the Creed. I believe in God the Father is the first article, I believe in God the Son is the second, and I believe in the Holy Spirit is the third one. Martin Luther has, uh, in his catechism, uh, his, he, he writes his interpretation of what each one of those means. And I just want to share with you what he writes for the third article of the Creed, which is about the Holy Spirit. He says, I believe that by my own reason or strength, I cannot believe in Jesus Christ, my Lord, or come to him. But the Holy Spirit has called me through the gospel, enlightened me with his gifts, and sanctified and preserved me in true faith. Then notice this next sentence. Just as he calls gathers, enlightens, sanctifies the whole Christian church on earth and preserves it in union with Jesus Christ in the one true faith. So I'd like us to take a look at, for each day out of the next five, those five words that Paul uses about what the Holy Spirit does. He calls us, he gathers us, he enlightens us, he strengthens us, and preserves us. So this is kind of like the, the, the whole journey of faith from the beginning of it to the end of it. The first of the words that he uses is the word calls. Of course, when you think of calls, you probably think about your telephone. I could have had my cell phone here and used that as a visual aid. But God, of course, is calling us. He's calling to us. And he's calling to us each time we hear the gospel. Luther says the Holy Spirit kindles hearts so that they grasp and accept the good news of salvation in Jesus. They cling to it and they persevere in it. So the tool in the Holy Spirit's hand to bring us to Jesus and to salvation is the gospel. The people who hear the gospel are the ones who can be saved if they say yes. Sometimes a no can be the first yes because it means that somebody really understood what is involved in being a disciple of Jesus and they just weren't quite ready to turn the reins of their life over to him yet. To trust in him alone for their salvation. Romans 1.16 says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God to salvation to the Jew first and also to the Greek, the non-Jew. So hearing the gospel is to hear God calling to us. He's calling me, he's calling you. He wants you to hear the gospel as for me. This is a word for me. God is calling for me when I hear the gospel. He wants me. He sent Jesus for me. He loves me. He's inviting me. The gospel is the power to, of God to salvation. It's able to awaken faith in us. It calls us to decide. It's the beginning of a long journey of faith. Have you heard the call? Is God calling you right now? Have you heard God calling you before, but you weren't ready to say yes? Is your heart saying yes? If you have some time, read the Gospel of John and keep saying yes to Jesus. Amen.